Hi and hello, Let's Play fans, it's your pal Berg787, back for a brand new Let's Play series. And yes, as you can see, it is Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Finally, I'm going to start my Let's Play on it. I've had the game since release, which at time of recording, it was about a week ago I think it was released. Uh, but I've not really had a ton of time to play it. I've just been very busy uh, with personal life stuff going on, so there you go. Uh, but ne nevertheless, we are going to get stuck into it. I'm pretty much up to speed with the new game mechanics. Uh, mainly from watching Let's Players like Marbazir. That's where I've got most of my information from. I have played a little bit off-camera, but I haven't really got past the sort of classical age, so not too far in. So I'm not, as I said, fully familiar with everything, especially in the later game, but I think I know enough to be able to put on a good show here for you lot. So let's get the game underway. Go to create a game. Now, uh, the civilization I'm going to choose, I wanted to do one that I didn't do in a Civ 5 Let's Play for the channel, so um, not necessarily wanted to go with someone new though, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with Trajan of Rome, so there we go, we're going to be Rome, uh, all roads lead to Rome is one of their abilities, so all cities you found or conquer start with a trading post, which is really handy, uh, and if in trade route range of your capital, they also start with a road to it, so that's pretty good as well, because roads are built slightly differently to how they were built in Civ, uh, in Civ 5, no longer a worker goes around building it, but it's actually traders who, on their way to and from wherever you're trading with, uh, whether it's an internal trade route or you know another, another civilization, you will start, a, will start building a road to that city, so... Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty good if we're in range of our actual capital, we will get a road there as well. And our trade routes and plus one gold for passing through trade posts in our own city. So all good. We'll want to be doing a lot of trading or a lot of expanding, I suppose, is also <laughs> kind of in order. Uh, the other thing that we get is Trajan's Column. All cities start with an additional city center building. Starts with a monument building in the ancient era, I think. If I've read that correctly or understand it correctly, that it won't be a monument, though, if we get to the classical era. Or will it be? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, regardless, we'll start off with a monument in Rome, that's for sure. So that frees us up to build other stuff. Most likely, um, I would say from my early little playthroughs, is probably some military units because, gee whiz, the barbarians are bloody rampant in this game, at least from what I've seen. I don't know if that's for everyone, but in the couple of starts that I've had, the couple of little quick blitzes that I've had on it, they do seem to be a lot more uh, vicious and rampant than they were in Civ Five. Uh, in terms of units and buildings, uh, we get a legion. So a Roman unit, classical era melee unit that replaces the swordsman and can be built and can build a Roman fort. There we go. And we also get a bath, which is a district unique for Rome for city growth, and it replaces the aqueduct district. Uh, so what it does, it re it provides the city with a source of fresh water. Fresh water provides more housing, as if you read so from either a river, lake, oasis, or mountain. Cities that do not yet have an existing fresh water receive up to six housing from that bath. But cities that already have an existing fresh water will instead get instead get plus two housing, which is still good. Uh, it must be built adjacent to the city centre. In either case, the bath provides an additional plus two bonus housing and plus one amenity. Amenity is quite handy as well. That's what keeps your... That's, amenities are basically like what happiness was on Civ Five, so handy to have some amenities. Uh, although they don't work empire-wide, if you know what I mean. Like before, happiness was like a global thing for your, for your civilization, whereas amenities, the happiness of Civ Six works specifically for each city. As far as I understand. I'm going to caveat a lot of what I know about the game with as far as I understand. But uh, anyway, it must be built adjacent to the city centre. So let's click that. In terms of difficulty, I don't see any reason to go anything lower than Emperor. Even though I've not really played Civ Six properly yet. Or a full play playthrough. I'm still you know, not a novice to Civilization games full stop. So we're going to go on Emperor. And hopefully within a playthrough or two, we will get it up to Deity and do Let's Plays from there. We'll go with standard game speed. Uh, map type. I'm going to go with Continents. A few large land masses, so we'll do that. In terms of size, we'll just go for standard size. Let's hit advanced setup. We'll leave all the other AIs on random. Standard rule set, emperor, blah, blah, blah. All of that stuff is standard. We'll leave all the victory types on, including the new religious. You have the most diplomatic relationships. You hope to convert the world to one true religion. There you go. So that's the religious victory type, which I suppose is kind of like a diplo victory. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, there's also this thing, last thing before we start the game, game seed, uh, game random seed and map random seed. As far as I know, if you set up the game exactly how I've set it up, and then type in these numbers down here, so there you go, you can just pause the game now if you wanted to do that, you type that in, you'll get the exact same world that's about to start for me. So if you want to play on the exact same map with the exact same conditions and all that jazz, you can do so if that's your thing. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the actual game proper. 
From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Cast your net wide, O Trajan, Emperor of mighty Rome. Your legions stand at the ready to march out and establish the largest empire the world has ever seen. If you can truly get all roads to lead to Rome, yours will be an empire of great riches and luxuries. Surely then our citizens will proclaim you as their best ruler. The Optimus Princeps. The Optimus Princeps indeed. The Optimus Primes. There we go, here is Trajan. No beard for him. Those of you who've watched my Sub 5 playthroughs know that I'm a bit of a beard aficionado, and there were some magnificent beards and beards in Sub 5. No beard for you, so never mind. I'll make up for it in real life by having a beard and not so much grey hair. Alright. Bam! There we are. So, what the hell's this? Tobacco? Cool. Got some tea. Tobacco. Marble. Alright, not bad. Bit of marsh, which. Hmm. Good thing we do have all this stone here, though, and marble, because there's not a lot of hills around here, which stinks a little bit. It does mean that um, production could be a little bit of an issue. I suppose there's a few around here. No mountains, either. So, building a campus district might not be as great, but we've got some pretty good tiles here to start with, so shouldn't complain too much. Three luxuries as well, three different luxuries. That's a pretty nice start. Let's go and see what else we've got. One, two, three. So that's just out of range, but not to worry. Maybe another city can make do with that. We'll send our chappies around. Uh, I'll build on spot. I don't think there's any reason not to. So let's found room. Boom shakalak. There it is. Let's uh, set the food and production. Let's see what actually the best tile. Oh, do you get culture from, from marble? Of course you do. There we go. I don't know if marble produces when you well, it must produce some must get some production. Can't believe it doesn't when you build a um, whatever you build on there. What do you need mining? <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Uh, I think though, do I want to go for free food or do I want to work the tea over here? Free food. Well, hold on one second. Let's choose production. I'm going to go scout first. And so if we go back to our production, so five turns for a new pop, ten turns until the scouts produce. But if we go on that, it's seven and eight. So we shave off two turns. Two turns at either way. Uh, I think... Well, we'll still get the pop before that anyway. So I think we'll just go with the growth first. And we'll get the um, scout as and when we get it. It is handy to scout. We do want to meet all the civilizations that are on our continent and beyond and any city-states that we have available as well. All right, so in terms of actual this jazz, well, animal husbandry doesn't seem to be um, important for us just yet, does it? Um, yeah, because I don't see any animals anywhere, so we will certainly go. Let's open the tech tree fully, actually. So we'll go mining, because we need that, and we do need irrigation as well, so we'll probably go pottery irrigation. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much the start we're going to do. So... First turn out the way. Superb. I'm excited. I'm going to take a swig of my energy drink. Mmm. Good old monster. What have we got up here? More marble. And even more marble. Loads of marble and some wheat. Oh, this looks like a decent location for another city. Next to a mountain. Bit of a river. So yeah, okay. I'm liking the look of that. Uh, movement. One thing I will say. Movement is a bit different in this Civ compared to Civ 5. And it's taken me a little while to get used to. Like before... Yeah, like if you're going to cross over a river, you need like two movement points to start with. Like at the beginning of your turn to cross over, it wasn't like on the previous one where you could still jump over, but it would take your two. Like, do, do you know what I mean? If you had one, you could go across. You could still get across, but then you couldn't. You couldn't move two. You need two to get across like that, and to get onto hills and stuff like that. So it makes combat also a little bit different. But anyway, enough yapping. More exploring. I wanted to find a word that rhymed with yapping, but I didn't. So there you go. I don't think we will. What, uh, I don't think we will explore over there, though, because it looks like quite a bit of hills. I think I'll wait for my scout before we go that way. This way looks a bit more flat. Probably a bit more easy for our warriors to search around, go and walk through the tobacco field. There we go. Liking what I'm seeing so far. Got the bananas. Did we just expand to the bananas? Oh, I can't do it. 
Oh, I can do it now. Managed to. Wow! Free food to production. All right, get off that. Get onto the bananas. The bananas are awesome. Then you think I want to upgrade them? Will it get rid of the production? Probably. That's a mega tile. Free food to production. Not even improved. I like a little bit of that. Bananas bonus resources. Certainly are a bonus. All right, lots of wheat around here. I'm liking the look of this. Pretty decent location. Just need to find someone else. Some more peeps. See where everyone is. A bit certainly looking good. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes. Yada 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 yada. Shut up, Sean Bean. All right, so we've got chiefdom. Chiefdom. We have become a chiefdom. That's an awesome statue there. That legs. Hope it's legs. Um, right. So what are we going to do? Uh, I think. Well, we haven't seen any barbarians for all my talk of like how rampant they are. I haven't actually seen any yet, but they'll be there. So we'll take discipline and in terms of our economic policy I suppose for now we've got pretty good production and we've only got one city anyway so we might as well take God King get a bit of faith and a bit of extra cash that sounds like the right move to do well a bit of extra faith I say bit of faith full stop because there is no faith being generated at the moment uh, no hold on confirm policies that will take effect start to amass stuff for us next turn it's all good oh have we found a tribal village Found some silver, yeah, there it is. Oh, moved in slightly the wrong direction away from it. Uh, we've opened the civics tree, so what are we going to get? I do want to expand early, so I think going for early empire is probably going to be a good good move. So foreign trade. Yeah. Gold from all trade routes. Does let us produce the trader as well, who we don't necessarily want to do because our early trip. Well, we still want it because we want to make trade with other civilizations, but in terms of our cities, we don't need it to build roads. But um, yeah, we'll get us to a settler a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker indeed, so we'll go and do that. Might get a boost to it if we can discover a second continent anytime soon. That'd be pretty sweet. Alright, let's head over here. As it turns out. Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled, so I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. Wow. Okay, so Mount Kilimanjaro, one tile impassable natural wonder. It appears as a mountain and provides two food to adjacent tiles. So all of these tiles, even the silver one, I'm guessing, get two food. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet indeed. All right. I know there's a big desert around here, but I think that might be a good location there. We're next to fresh water, so can't complain about that. And we got a Eureka boost to astrology as well, because that's that's good. Yeah, so let's see what else is around here, but I'm certainly looking to settle around there as well. So a city here, city there, city everywhere. Well, let's see who else is there, because there might be some... If there's another civ near nearby, we might need to uh, really get our ass into gear. All right, so we got the scout. Good times. I might actually just get on a builder right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a builder out, start improving some of our stuff. Because uh, I don't see any barbarians, and then when we need one, we can fire out a slinger and warrior and stuff like that. So let's get a builder. Uh, our scout. I did say I was going to send him south, but I kind of want to see more of this area up here. But then again, it looks all pretty flat, so let's send the scout south. Off you pop, scout. One, two, three. Oh, cool. More stone in our area. That's pretty good. I think I know what... Um, if we get if we get a pantheon, I think when I know what I'm choosing. you find yourself in a hole... Quit digging. All right. So we've got mining, which is all kinds of good. Oh yeah, now we're on to animal husbandry. Am I right? No. Now we're on to pottery. Sorry. We build the granary. We'll leave that alone for now. More wheat as well. It's a really good area. We've started. We've lucked out in terms of where we've started. I've got to say. I'm liking it. To the south, it's looking a bit more barren. I mean, lots of lots of growth, but not a lot of actual resources. What was that? Who it is? Oh, hello, Amsterdam. Amsterdam! Construct a holy site. I don't know if we'll be doing that anytime soon. Have we found another tribal village? Excellent. What do Amsterdam... Oh, yeah, holy site. I was just literally just read it and go, what do they want us to do? Oh, and Buenos Aires. Hello, train a galley. Well, we certainly won't be doing that because, well, we need some sea, unless there's some sea really nearby that I've not come across yet and it has something awesome next to it. Don't think we'll be doing that. Yeah, we might need to rush to get here. 
just so that Buenos Aires doesn't take all of this good stuff as it grows. Uh, tribal village, city state, two city state quests, and we met two city state. And that's really cool as well because I think we were the first person to um, meet both of these, I would imagine. Can you stop doing that? Yeah. So we should yeah, influence by ourselves. So we've got an envoy in both, which is really good. So we're getting two production in the capital and producing wonders, buildings, and districts. We're not doing any of those, so we're not actually getting the production right now, but still, that's not too bad. In Amsterdam, we're getting four gold in the capital, so our gold per turn is almost doubled from that. That's pretty sweet. That's a really good start. And there we go. We've met Geneva as well, so we've got a uh, boost to political philosophy. I think that's because we met three city-states, so that's pretty good. What did Geneva want us to do? Trigger inspiration state workforce. Uh, is state workforce a civic? It is, yeah. Uh, build any district. Build any district whatsoever. Mm, might be worth it. What does Geneva give us? Oh, it gives us science as well. Yeah, okay. Okay. We're not the first to meet them, though, is that right? Yeah, because we haven't got an envoy of them. So, yeah, some unmet player. Some, some dirty unmet player is getting that boost, unfortunately. But, hey ho. We'll keep exploring. Oh! Meeting super friendly. There we go. This is the Congo. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. I forgot what your name was already. Cool, we'd love to sample some of your hospitality. All right, so he's right there. I don't know if this is his capital. It can't be because it's only one population. You'd have thought it would have grown by now. Speaking of growing, that's the one one of the things I've noticed early doors that does annoy me. I do love Civ 6. I'm actually really preferring it to Civ 5 at the moment. But one of the things that does bug me, don't get a uh, little pop-up saying that your city's grown, that your population's grown, so you always need to be coming back. I mean, these do a pretty good job when you set what you want it on, but you know, I still like to just the, um, the micromanager in me likes to make sure it's doing what I want. Uh, is that something, would we want that, or would we want it on there? It shaves off a turn. No, it doesn't. No, it's certainly better to do this then, because the, f the growth doesn't affect. So that's all fine and dandy, like sour candy. Uh, so I'm presuming it was Congo then that Geneva met. And there's some crabs up there. You can keep exploring. Oh, so he sent us a trade delegation. Cool. Thank you. Excellent. Goodbye. Maybe we should send you one. We've got plenty of cash. Trade de trade delegations are kind of like the um, <clears throat> the what do you call it? The uh, embassy, I think it is, which was in Civ Five. So we'll send him a delegation. Cool. Goodbye. Gossip, nothing new. What's his thing again? Agenda, like civilizations that bring religion to the Congo, dislike civilizations that have founded a religion but not borrow it to the Cong to Congolese city. So if we don't have a religion at all, how do you feel about that? Not, you're like, not fussed. But if we have a religion but don't spread it to you, you get pissed off, I would imagine. It's also got a hidden agenda, which we can't find out just yet. How do we check our actual diplomacy with him? Is there a way to... Is there a way to see... Uh, I think there is. I'm just... Not sure how to do it. Maybe I need some sort of our relationship. Ah, oh, there we go. You just click on it. First impression of us wasn't great, but he liked it a bit better that we sent him a delegation. So there we go. Cool. First of many civs that we will encounter. Is it worth to keep going up here? Sort of. But not really. Oh, and we found the letter as well. Hello, the letter. Someone else has found them. Was it Congo? No, it's someone else. So we know there's someone else on the way. In this general direction. Uh, what's their quest? Send a trade route. Okay, it's pretty near. We can probably do that. Up we go over here. Yeah, I think it's a bit pointless exploring any further over there. We're going to swing down just see what's the other side of Kilimanjaro. Pop up here. Oh, some barbarians. There we go. Finally, we've seen these dirty barbarians. It's only a barbarian scout, though, so we should be okay. Let's head back to Rome because we've had that pop boost again. Do we want two food, one hammer? Or do we want free food? Mm, we get the builder a turn later. But we get... 
pop to well we won't get the pop in time anyway so I suppose it doesn't matter we might as well get the builder a turn early and then see where we land from there but you look at all this good land all of this good oh, where are you going come back here I thought clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand and so we can build granary gives us some more housing housing obviously you need housing to expand into at the moment just to show you we have is this, this how I open it up yeah so we've got no oh, it says down here as well anyway we've got free housing no we've got free population and six housing so we can only get up to six population in this city for the time being uh, before we start I think either getting penalties to growth and stuff like that you know you don't want people living on the streets and squalor you know, it might be in the ancient era, but still, we're no savages like these barbarians. I bet they don't have houses in their barbarian camps, wherever they are. They probably all live on the street. Oh! Cool. He seems pretty friendly as well. Everyone's friendly so far. Or at least they're coming across. It's an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. Oh, and right, that's where the barbarian camp is. Cool. They're going to be doing me a favour. So they're over here. Oh shit, they are pretty near to um, Kilimanjaro. They're probably not going to like it when I <laughs> go on forward settle over there. But, um, yeah, let's just move back this way though anyway because I just want to go after that scout wherever he went. I don't want him pestering my builder when he comes out. Um, let's just go back to them. So what's their agenda? Bushido, like civilizations that have a strong military and faith and culture output. Okay interesting dislike civilizations that are strong in military but weak in faith and culture so he likes people who are strong in military and faith and culture but if you're strong in faith and culture but have a weak military no that are strong in military but if you're strong in military but weak in faith and culture yeah then he dislikes you interesting that seems kind of kind of a bit schizophrenic um so i want to send him a delegation as well excellent good times we're all good. How's our relationship? Oh, even worse than ours. Why did he not like us so much? Go against what? All right, okay. I don't know why. But maybe it's because we're not really doing much in terms of faith and culture. And don't have a strong army. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck him. He's going to like us even less when we come over here and settle, settle around Kilimanjaro. All right. I need this fucking mong. You take care of him, all right? I know I'm going to miss out on money for that. But I need to go and protect my uh, my builder who's about to arrive. I don't want this stupid barbarian causing me issues. Thanks, man. Your, your delegation's welcome. You're a good guy. It's not true what they said about you. Congo told me some lies about you. It turns out you're well all right. Ah, oh, shit. Did a barbarian camp just appear there? It looked like it. It did indeed. All right, never mind. Where did that... Stupid tramp of a scout guy. Seems to have vanished. So we can fuck him for the moment. Alright. Builders work a little bit different to what workers were in the previous game. Workers before, once you had one, you could keep upgrading for the rest of time, basically. Whereas with builders, you start off, they only have three builds. So, you know, you've got to pick carefully what you're going to improve. I don't think I'm going to improve these bananas because the tile by itself is pretty awesome. And I can't imagine the imp product improving the tile will make it any better than what it is at the moment. And if it does, actually, let me see. If I go to here, is there a resources bit? Food. Uh, 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 uh. All right, well, I could just type in bananas as well. That would probably help. Not bab. Ba, na, bananas. There we go. Uh, it doesn't tell me what bonus one plus food, but it doesn't tell me what happens when I actually put a plantation. Oh, right. Um, so it adds one gold, but does it does it get rid of like the other stuff? I don't know. I don't know. And I can't really be bothered to find out. Because one gold, if it just adds one gold, it's not that big a deal, and it's not a luxury resource either, so I'd rather go bam, 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 if that makes sense. So let's do it that way. Uh, anyway, let's build that quarry. Cool. Masonry has been advanced as well. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, and these buildings as well. When you use them to build stuff, it's instantaneous. So that's pretty good as well. So sweet there. I'm not sure what it will add to the marble. Probably one production. Which will make it kind of like this tile over here. 
but we'll be yeah we'll be using that in eight turns probably might switch I don't know well let's go and do the T next anyway uh, so we have our builder which is all good do I want to go for settler just yet two turns till foreign trade what's the to get early empire grow your civilization to at least six population and that will give us this uh, production of settlers I think we're going to want one before that so I, I think uh, I don't know so am I going to have this, the population to be able to defend against them if they get angry about me settling uh, the warriors and army to settle it, to defend against them that's the thing <sighs> I don't know I just don't know. What does foreign trade give us again? More trade routes and ancient classical era naval units. Not super exciting. Let's get a slinger and then we'll work it out from there. Uh, Japan has used the warrior to clear a barbarian camp. I'm presuming it was the one that was over here. Was it there? I think it was there. So that's good of them. Thanks because that one was actually really near me. I've got to go and deal with this one as well. Oh, there's a... Did I not pick up... Oh, my God. Did I completely forget about getting that fucking tribal hut there? That was a bit silly of me. Oh, my God. How did I forget to get that? Like a complete mong. All right. We'll fortify there. Uh, build a move away from those dastardly barbarian scouts. We'll go and... Have, actually, we can attack them. Yeah, let's go and attack them. Take that, you dirty bastards. Um, do these two are these two exactly the same yeah two food one culture so no difference in what one I should upgrade so we'll just upgrade this one plus one to production there we go and then we'll make our way over to the T as well we'll leave the bananas as they are next turn please ah uh. A lot going on. A lot of places I want to go to as well. But I've got to clear out this barb camp for sure. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. Alright, cool. We can change our policies. Hmm. Hmm. Don't need that. <clears throat> I think we'll just keep the discipline in. Um do I wanna swap do I wanna swap that for production? Yeah, I think I'm all right with keeping the faith in the gold for the time being. I think that works well for me. Unit needs orders. You're gonna well. You need to explore this way as well, so I don't mind you hounding down this guy. Oh, there's some hosses over here. Hosses. Good times. Uh, you can, I guess, fortify for a turn. I don't know if I've actually told you to fortify or not, but I'll have to remember to unfortify you next. Look at these cheeky little fucks coming round. I don't like this little game of catch that we're playing. Fortify you for a round. You jump up there. Cool. Oh, we got a free builder unit? Sweet. Well, with this one, I'm just going to wander him over here just to see what it would happen if we did upgrade the bananas. Because I guess we might as well have a look. No reason not to. Because I remember before... Yeah, he can't get to us. I mean, I don't think he can get to us. I hope he can't get to us. Otherwise, I'm going to be pretty annoyed if he can. So, some more silver over here. Got to deal with these fucking barbarians. Uh, uh, minor victory. Oh, I'm okay with a minor victory. Uh, you go and have a look over here. Find out what that does. Meanwhile, oh, we haven't got irrigation done yet. Oh, yeah, four more turns. Farm a resource. I could build a farm, I suppose. Don't really want to, though. I suppose go to sleep until we get that. Ah, we've got our slinger as well. I'm going to send our slinger this way. Oh, shit, more scouts. Yeah, we need to deal with this camp over here because it's going to keep spawning crap. And plus, it's where I want to send my settler <laughs> if Japan doesn't beat me to it. Uh, so that should be fine. I am going to start working on that settler now, though. I want him. Need him. Get him out nice and early. And we'll go and plop him down here somewhere. Look at these chiefs, man. Just attacking me. For, well, moving around. Beat him up some more. Can we attack him? I don't think we can. Oh, we can. Yeah, we can. <coughs> there you go. Take that. 
Why can't we... Oh, well, because we still haven't done irrigation, of course. No, hold on one minute. It's not irrigation that we need for that, is it? Oh, yeah, it is plantation, so we can't do that either. <clears throat> I suppose keep running around. You, sir, hunt him down. And next turn. Could finish him off. I don't know if a scout could finish us off, though. That is the question. I might just heal up one turn. Um, Alright, that one got chased off. We can bring you back over here. You go this away, huh? Uh, you need to get out of there, so we'll put you on. Oh, hey, that's where you are. I might need another. See, I told you barbarians cause you problems, man. Just run around like fucking militant dicks. Not actually doing much, just like running around going, Hey, hey, I'm a barbarian. Hey. Hey, it's me, look. I'm in your banana field. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't know why they sound like Michael Jackson. It made me made me laugh anyway. Inside. Which we all know is the best kind of laugh when you laugh inside. Fuck off, you dirty scout. I need to kill your little spearman buddy. Um, you go back in there. We'll cross over here. I don't even know where the other one went, but... Wherever he went, he's going to get a pound in sooner or later. Alright, I think you've healed up enough to finish this guy off and not have to worry about that. Cool, we got a boost in military tradition. Oh, and there's a little fucking tribal village over there as well, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. Hopefully be able to grab that. I've noticed that the AI doesn't do a great job of getting these tribal villages. Or at least that's what it seemed like to me in the first couple of games that I've played through. The man who has grit enough to bring about the forest. Cool, so irrigation is done. I'm going to come over here and meet him. I'm. Um, you can come here and attack him. Zap him. Cool, you make your way over here. Alright, sweet. Uh, he can't get us there, I don't think. He can't move into there. At least I don't think he can. So anyway... We'll blast that out. We've got a boost of craftsmanship as well, which is pretty cool. We've got pop four as well, though that will come down to pop three once our settler's done. But let's just see what's going on there. So one production, one food, one gold. All very good. Let's actually move this onto that. Well, actually, that's a pretty good tile. Two, two food, two production. Can't complain about that. Got to love me some production. But um, is that the tile specifically that I want to use? I think so. Hmm. We are missing out on some culture though here. Yeah. I think it'd be alright. But then again, gold. I mean, we're getting enough gold already, so I probably don't want to work that. I'd probably rather the culture than the gold. I mean, as I said, we're getting 10 gold per turn. That might actually come down to 9 gold per turn, but or 9.5. But either way, we should be fine. Yeah, I, I like the look of that. And uh, I think on that note, I think we'll end this episode. So there we go. That is the first episode of our Civ 6 playthrough with Rome. Tarjan of Rome. All good. I'm, I'm liking the start. We've got some very viable locations to spread out into. Still haven't even checked what's up here, like directly north of us. Which could be good, but I'm, I'm thinking city definitely near Kilimanjaro. Probably there. That looks pretty sweet. And then... I'm kind of liking another one around here. We'll see what's over here as well. Going south, not really too viable an option. Not really that many great locations down here. But certainly, as I said, two city locations I'm happy with and a third one. Well, we'll see what's over here. But anyway, for now, as this is a brand new series, the very first episode of a brand new series, if you have enjoyed what you've seen, please do consider hitting that like button. It obviously does uh, a lot for me. So... I thank you in advance for doing that. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Really easy to do. Just hit the subscribe button. There you go. Anyway, join us tomorrow when we'll continue the adventure. But until then, take care. Bye-bye.